We are under the nature's law. You cannot say that you are independent. Uh, nature's law is very strict. Prakitakramanani uh, guni karmani sarvas. Nature's law just like fire. If you touch fire, uh, it will burn. Uh, and even a child who is innocent, if the child touches the fire, it will burn. There is no excuse. You cannot say that the child is innocent. It does not know the effect of touching fire. She should be excused. No. Ignorance is no excuse. Especially that is the state laws. You cannot say, suppose you have committed some criminal act. If you plead, my uh, Lord, I did not know that the, after doing this act I had to suffer imprisonment. So I excuse me. No, that will be no excuse. You know or not know the law. If you have acted like that, you might suffer. This is going on. So we don't believe in the next life just to avoid this consequence. But that will not excuse us. Uh, we have to accept a type of body. Otherwise, how? There are so many different types of bodies. What is the explanation? Why different forms of body, different stages of body, different standard of body? There is nature's law. Therefore, this human form of life should be properly utilized, not simply engaged in sense gratification like cats and dogs. That is not very responsible life. Responsible life is that I have got this improved form of life, uh, than the cats and dogs, and I have got more intelligence than the cats and dogs. If I simply utilize it for four bodily necessities of life, four bodily necessities of life means we require some eating. The cats, dogs, human beings, or high court judge or anyone, they require some eating. They require sleeping apartment. So that is, they would, dog, cats and dogs can sleep without apartment. Uh, but the sleeping required, that is fact. Eating required, that is fact. And sex life, that is also fact. And defense, that is also fact. But these things are common to the cats and dogs. and. Uh, man, human being. So what is the special feature of the human being? The special feature of the human being is that a human being can consider that I have got this nice American or Australian or Indian body, then what I am going to get next? What kind of body? That is utilized for human intelligence. A cat and dog cannot think like that. Therefore our business should be, now by the nature's way I have come to this form of life by evolutionary process. Now I have got good intelligence. Uh, how I shall utilize it? Uh, that proper utilization is indicated in the uh, Vedanta philosophy. Uh, Vedanta philosophy, perhaps you have heard the name. Veda means knowledge, and Anta means last stage or end. Everything has got some end. So you are being educated, you are taking education, where it shall end? That is called Vedanta. 
were the ultimate point. The Vedanta philosophy says, that is Vedanta philosophy, ultimate knowledge. The ultimate knowledge that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, what is that ultimate knowledge? Vedaishta sadvai ahameva vedyam. You are cultivating knowledge. The ultimate goal of knowledge, Krishna says, is to know me. Vedaishta sadvai ahameva vedyam. The whole knowledge is meant for understanding God. That is the end of knowledge. By progressive knowledge, you can make progress, but unless you do not come to the point to understand what is God, then your knowledge is imperfect. That is called Vedanta. Athata Brahma Jiggasa. This human form of life, nice facility, uh, intelligence, just like Australia was undeveloped since the Europeans came here. It is now very developed, resourceful, they, because the intelligence has been utilized. Uh, similarly, America, many other places. Uh, so this intelligence should be utilized. But if we simply utilize this intelligence for the same purpose as the cats and dogs are engaged, then it is not proper utilization. The proper utilization is Vedanta, Athata Brahma Jiggyasa. Now you should inquire about Brahma, the Absolute. That is intelligence. So people do not care to understand how nature's law is going on. Nature's law means God's law. Nature is not independent. Ah, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhakshena prakriti suyate satcharatham. Nature is a machine. To do thing, a machine works without an operator. Do you think? Is there any evidence? Huh? Now this is a machine. Photography. A wonderful machine. It is taking the picture and it will move. But there is an operator. Where is the machine which is working without operator? Can you give any example? Here is a machine which is working without operator. So how do you think that the nature machine is working without the supreme operator, God's instruction? How do you think it? This is not very reasonable. Uh, we have to judge. There are different evidences. One of the evidences is hypothesis. That hypothesis is that because we see that no machine works without operator, therefore we should conclude it, even though we do not know what is God, what is the nature, we must conclude it that this nature is working under some supreme operator. That is God. Uh, it is not necessary to see the operator, but we can guess that there must be operator. So human life is meant for finding out who is there to operate. That is human life. Otherwise it cats and dogs like they're eating, sleeping, mating, and dancing. That's all. That is not human life. You must find out who is the operator. Athata Brahma Jigyasa. This is called in Sanskrit word. Now this human form of life is meant for inquiring about the supreme operator. Now that supreme operator, Krishna, is so kind. He is giving evidence in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhakse napakiti syate satcharacharam. Now here I am. Under my direction, the prakriti, the nature, material nature is working. 
So you accept, then your business is done. And Krishna gave evidences how he is controlling the nature. When Krishna was seven years old, he lifted one big mountain on his finger. That means the we our understanding is that there is law of gravitation. By law of gravitation, such a big mountain, it cannot stay in one man's finger. That is our calculation. But he did it. That means he counteracted the law of gravitation. And that is God. So if you believe this, then you, are, you know God immediately. There is no difficulty. Just like if, if the child is born, my dear child, do not touch fire, it will burn you. So if the child accepts, then he gets the perfect knowledge immediately. If the child does not accept, he wants to make experiment, then he will burn his finger. So our process of knowledge we should take from the supreme authority. Then we save time for research work. That is Krishna consciousness movement. We take perfect knowledge from Krishna. I may be imperfect, just like child is imperfect. I may be imperfect, you may be imperfect. But if you take the perfect knowledge from the supreme perfect, then your knowledge is perfect. That is the process. This is called avarohopantha, knowledge coming, deductive knowledge. Uh, so everything is there, and if you uh, like to take advantage of this movement, make your life perfect, go back to home, back to Godhead, then fully utilize the center, our Melbourne center, come here, read our books, and argue, try to understand with your full knowledge, no blindly acceptance. Uh, there is reason, there is argument, there is philosophy, there is science, everything is there. Uh, and if you accept that simply by chanting, I shall realize, that is also allowed. Uh, both ways. If you accept this simple process, the chant Hare Krishna and realize God, that is also fact. And if you think, what is this nonsense, chanting Hare Krishna? Then you read books. Both ways we are prepared. Come and take advantage of this moment. Thank you very much. Not symbolic, it's fact. Why do you say symbolic? It's rather unusual. Unusual, what experience you have got? <coughs> you have no experience. Have you got any experience of other planetary system? What is there? Then? Your experience is very teeny. So you should not calculate. Brahma's life and other things by your teeny experience. Now, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that the duration of life of Brahma, Sahasra Yuga Pajantam Arahajat Brahmano Vidu. Now, Brahma's life, it is stated in the Shastra. We have already explained that we accept the authoritative statement of Shastra. Now, Brahma's life is stated there, arhat means his one day is equal to our four yugas. Four yugas means forty-three hundred, four million three hundred thousand years, and multiply it by one thousand. Sahasra yuga pajyantam, sahasra means one thousand. And yuga, yuga means 
the four million three hundred thousand years makes a jewel and multiply it by one thousand. That period is Brahma's one day. Similarly, he has got one night. Similarly, he has got one month. Similarly, he has got one year. And such hundred years he will live. That's how you can calculate. How it is within your experience? You will think something mysterious? No. Your experience is nothing. Therefore, you have to take experience from the perfect person, Krishna. Then your knowledge is perfect. That I have already said. Don't try to understand with your teeny experience everything. Then you will be failure. That I have already explained that uh, you are coming here, even though you are not initiated, that is also service. So if you deposit one cent daily, one day it may become hundred dollars. So when you get the hundred dollars, you can get the business. <laughs> so you come here daily, one cent, one cent, when it will be hundred dollars, you will become a devotee. So this is not wasted. It is, uh, that is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Krita punna punya. Krita punna. Krita means done. And Sukhdev Goswami is describing when Krishna was playing with his coward boy's friends. So he was describing that these coward boys who are playing with Krishna, they have not come to this position in one day. Krita punna punja. After life, after life, having performed pious activities, now they have come to this position. That they are allowed to play with the Supreme. So, Krita punna punja. Any pious activity is done for the sake of Krishna. That is your permanent asset. It will never be lost. So go on. Ah. Increasing the asset, one day it will so help you that you will be able to play with Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness movement. Hmm. First of all, you are devotee, he is not. It is very easy. Spiritual movement means to understand God. Any spiritual movement you adopt, if you understand God, then it is all right. Other is bogus. If you understand God, you take any movement. If you think everyone is spiritual movement, all right, you take it, then if you come to understand, now I have understood God, then that is all right. Either it is bogus. I have no experience. No? That, that is experience. That's all. If you eat, you will feel satisfaction. <coughs> and without eating, how will you feel satisfaction? <coughs> so if you follow a spiritual movement, then you will understand God. That is the result. And if you think that you have following some spiritual movement, but you do not know what is God, that means you are following some bogus thing. That is the test. It hasn't got to be certified. You can know. Just like if you eat, you will feel satisfaction. You haven't got to take certificate from others. Do you think I am eating? And you can say. If you understand fully God, then that is spiritual movement. If you do not understand, then you must know that you are following some bogus movement. This is the test. There are different uh, 
I say different may be hundreds, but it is up to you to test whether you have understood God. That is the test, real test. Yes. who is not afraid to die and says that he's not suffering. How do he's a madman. <laughs> That's all. Who oh, is caring for madman's what? That will take time. How can we expect? Then one minute everyone will understand everything. It requires education, time. If he is prepared to give the time, then he will understand. <clears throat> not that within five minutes, ten minutes he will understand the whole thing. That's not possible. He is a diseased man. He requires treatment, medicine, and diet. In this way he will understand. A diseased man, if he doesn't care for medicine, diet, then he'll suffer. That's all. Yes? Anyone? No? We have been here for many lifetimes performing sinful activities. So is it possible to counteract all those sinful activities in one lifetime, or does it require many One lives? minute. That is Krishna consciousness movement. One minute. You are not reading Bhagavad Gita? What Krishna says? sarva dharmaan paritajya mami kang saranang braja Angta sarva pape bha mokshayami. You surrender unto me, give up your all business. I will give you relief from all sinful reactions. Immediately. With Dikas, one minute. My dear Krishna, I was forgotten. Now I understand. I fully surrender unto you. Then you become immediately free from all sin. Without any reservation, without any politics. If you fully surrender that Krishna is assuring, Angtva Sarva Papi, Homokhoisami, Masucha, he reassures. Don't worry whether I will be able to, to give you relief from all reaction. Masucha, it is guaranteed. You do this. So, how much time it requires to surrender to Krishna? Immediately you can do that. Surrender means you surrender and what? As Krishna says, that is surrender. What Krishna says to do? Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji maagnamaskuru. Four things. You always think of me. And you become my devotee, you worship me, and offer your respect, full obeisances, and you do these four things. That is full surrender. Mami Vaishasi, Asangsa. Then you come to me without any doubt. Everything is there. Uh, Krishna has given everything fully. If you accept it, then life is very simple. There is no difficulty. Yes? How long do you think it is before Krishna comes to this planet again? The 
now calculate, I have already given the duration of one day, twelve hours of Brahma, means four million three hundred three hundred thousand years multiplied by one thousand. What it comes? Four million three hundred thousand years multiplied by one thousand. Huh? Four thousand three hundred million. No, no. Oh, depends of opinion. <laughs> In Australia, they calculate different. <laughs> anyway, what is your Australian conclusion? Let me know. Their billion is something else. Oh. Anyway, I give you the right figure. Four million, according to American and English calculation. Four million. Three hundred thousand years, and multiply it by one thousand. Then, what it comes according to English calculation? Four billion, four billion, three hundred billion. Huh? Four billion, three hundred billion. Uh, that is twelve hours, and add again twelve hours night. Then eight billion. billion. So Krishna comes after this period. In one day, after one day, a Brahma he appears. Yes, following Krishna. Krishna comes in the Dapur Yug. There are four periods of each Yug. Sattatrita Dapur Kali. So Krishna comes at the end of the upper yuga, and Chaitanya Mahapur comes in the Kali Yuga. So almost about the same year, the same circulation, just like the sun appears after so many hours. It is like that. And the sun does not disappear. Sun is already there in the sky. It may not, it may not be in Australia's vision, but it may be in other countries' vision. The sun is not dead. Similarly, Krishna appears by rotation in this universe after so many years, eight billion and nine billion years. So next he goes to another universe. Just like the sun. After disappearance from Australia, it goes to another country. Similarly, Krishna, after finishing his business in, in this universe, he goes to another universe. In this way, the rotation takes eight million, nine, nine billion years. Just imagine how many universes are there. He stays in one universe for 125 years. Everything is their calculation in this asana. Now we can imagine how many universes are there. That is altogether material world. That is stated in the Athabhavahunaitina, Kingatina, Athabhajna, Vishtabhya Aham Idam Kristam Ekangsina Sthitu Jagat. This material creation is one fourth creation of the whole God's property. And the three-fourth part is in the spiritual world. That is God. Not that cheap God. I am God. in this God. We don't accept such cheap God. Yes. Even if you remain in the material, if you are not completed your spiritual life, still you will get good birth. Suchinang Simotangi, he, Jugo, Brasta, Sanjaya, one who is failure 
in completing Krishna consciousness, then he is given next chance in a very aristocratic family or very nice, pure Brahmin's family, so that he can again cultivate Krishna consciousness. Next chance. His question was, when he, when we take initiation from you, we mm. understand that we become your eternal servitors. Yeah. But we have to come again to another birth. But if you remain means... eternally in the instruction, and if you fall from the instruction, how you can remain eternal? You have to stay on the platform, then eternally you are safe. If you fall down from the platform, then it is your fault. It's like we are all in the Vaikuntha planet. Now, we wanted to enjoy this material world, we have fallen down. Just like Joy Vijay. Now we are trying to go back again. Therefore we say, go back to home, back to God. So everything is there is process. If you follow the process, then you go back. If you fall down, that is our fault. Therefore the life is meant for tapasa, that Rishabh is in instruction, that our life should not be wasted like dogs and hogs and pigs. It should be utilized for tapasya, for understanding our position. Tapa putra kajina suddheta satya. This is the aim of life. We have to purify our existence. At the present moment, our existence is impurified. Therefore, we are subjected to birth, death, old age, and disease. And as soon as we purify ourselves, then we are not subjected to these four material laws. Thank you very much.